تغير مكانك بعد اذنك حضرتك ممكن تغير مكانك بس عشان لما لما تطلعني برا الهواء امي لما تطلعني برا الهواء امي لما تطلعني برا الهواء امي ايوه كنت عايز اخد الصوره قبل ما هي تاخدها Welcome everybody to the Alexandria Sporting Club in Alexandria, Egypt as the 
Equity Bank team is doing battle against the Reed Women's BBC here in day three of competition here on behalf of FIBA. I'm Aaron Sanders. Glad to be on the call as we join you right in progress. Team Equity Bank with a 2-0 lead over the Reed Women BBC. First free throw has appeared to have gone off. As we have a look at Betty Kalonga, who knocks down one of two from the free throw line to make it a 2-1 game. And we got a foul on the play. Check, check, check. And now we see Destiny Biloxi with the ball. Averages 17 and a half points per game. Tied for seven in the tournament so far. That three from the side off the mark. Down on the other end. And the layup doesn't go. As we are 90 seconds into the ball game. So two to one. Keep in mind for Equity Bank, they have a one and one record in Group B competition. They won against ASPAC yesterday by the score of 87 to 69. And the Regional Women's BBC coming off a 96 to 89 victory against Interclube yesterday. So both of these clubs. Looking to get in the win column, try to improve their record before group play concludes in about a couple of days from now. Glad to have you aboard worldwide, wherever you may be. Hope you're enjoying the game. Almost two minutes into to this game. Now the ball is in the hands. And the shot goes down. Shot goes down courtesy of Malu Aribu Grace. Tied for seventh and scoring with 17 and a half points per game as Equity takes a 4-1 lead in the early stages of this game. Fadeaway jumper off the second chance, doesn't hit. And now here comes Equity Bank on the move. Knight heads up play underneath. And it's Betty Kalonga with the ball. Kalonga. And kick ball on the play with 7.23 remaining here in the first. 7.23 and counting. Reed Women BBC and Pulaski with the ball. Doc goes up, rattles in and out. Three ball. Doesn't go in for Avery Grace. Dribble drive from Mia Cloden. Cloden. Still applying the footwork. Shot clock winding down. And Cloden unable to hit. And here's Equity Bank. They have numbers as they're able to save the ball from going out of bounds. That jumper doesn't go. There's a chance of the three. That goes off the side as Equity Bank lets it roll out of bounds.
Destiny Biloxi, 23 years old, and tied in six and assists with six and a half per game here in this tournament. The netting, Rudig Dengua. And the roll doesn't fly. Those coming up for a read Morgan BBC. 2-0 record in Group B competition. And at the free throw line is Faza and Bingo Iswami. He gets the free throw to drop. 75% free throw shooter. Having just 11 points per game. On the four and a half rebound. Second free throw doesn't get anything. And back comes Equity Bank there. Establishing the tempo here in the early stages of this game as they lead 4-2. to two. That shot bounces off the rail. And here comes Destiny Bloxy. Bloxy trying to go coast to coast. Gives the ball. And we apologize for the technical difficulties. We'll get the feed right back in just a moment. Back to live action, straight away three from Oteno. Bounces off. Halfway into the first quarter. Three from the corner is good. But nicely done. That is now 5 4 in favor of Reed Women BBC. They were able to regain the lead after a slow start. The early stages of this match. Nice dribble drive. The feed almost swallowed up. It's back out to Cluden. Cluden, they skip it right back down to the far side. The dribble drive and the easy boost. And a nice scoring run so far from Reed Women BBC. They were able to score four unanswered. No luck to be banked this far. They can't respond underneath the basket. 3.56 to go. We have a timeout on the floor with the score with 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Reach women D to C7, equity bank four. Alexandria, their Reed Women BBC has taken a 7 4 lead over Equity Bank. We'll drive near the elbow. Shot doesn't fall. Equity Bank making some changes. Last time out after team their lead disappeared. Bunga 
Moves the ball around. Not a lot of time on the shot clock. And they kick it right outside. And ball hits the back. Second chance coming up for Equity Bank. A nice banker. If that gets the job done. And Malu Abu Grace, one of the leading scorers and one of the key factors for the game. It's a one point game as Pantaleo sends it over to Kananu, who misses the triple. Velocity taking it in herself and gets it down. So it's nine to six. Reed with the lead, Kananu. Outside, Pantaleo, that's a three. Raises the rim. On the other end is Nia Cloudin. He gets it in. And Nia Cloudin averages about 12 and a half points per game. Eight in assists per game, but six. And she's just looked at the lead up to five. As we are under two minutes to go here in the open quarter. Not over the ball again. They've taken away. Biloxi with the jumper. Ninety seconds to go. And the ball rolls right out of bounds. Another turnover for Equity Bank. They find themselves down by five. So Eddie Kalanga will throw it in. And another corner, three goes. And Reed Women BBC is saying, what deficit? They have taken a stranglehold in this game as we're under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Pantaleo driving, gives it up. Court, big three as Equity Bank needed that one after having a dry scoring spell for a little while. Another feed and another triple. So Nia Cloudin adds three more. The biggest lead of the match. We're under 20 seconds to go. Pantaleo on the go for the crossover dribble. Baseline right. Fires it off. Another 10 seconds. And the Reed Women BBC continue to add the speed and the tempo as the buzzer goes to end the first quarter. Reed Women BBC leads Equity Bank 18 to 9 at the end of the first quarter. We'll have continuing coverage of the FIBA African Women's Basketball League in just a moment.
Into the sporting club where we have an interesting game here, a tale of two stories as Equity Bank and Reed Women BBC are off and running as we begin the second quarter. Reed BBC with a slow start to their game. They now lead 18 to 9 as we are about to get underway here in the second quarter. Women BBC 2-0 record in Group B competition. Three from Tiffany Mitchell, one of the leading scorers, the top scorer in the AWBL. Misses on the corner three. And the ball will go to the way of Equity Bank. In Equity Bank, they have a 1-1 one one record. Their only loss is in the opening matchup against Interclude, 80-55. Tough layup. And that goes off the mark. And we have a little bit of stoppage of play. Just underway here in the second quarter. Handoff dribble. Breaking the ankles and a layup no good for Invango Isomi. And it was Panaleo who tried to pass it right down deep, but unable to get that pass. Nine ten remaining, nine point lead for Rouge Women BBC. As again, we welcome you wherever you may be watching this from around the world. Aaron Sanders on the call. As Rouge try to work the ball around the perimeter and Cloudon gets fouled. Bruin bound it from the sideline, courtesy of Bengal Isomi. Biloxi, leaner, no good. Another bucket goes, and wow. Not a good decision as Reach gets it right back, and Tiffany Mitchell, or should I say Nia Cloudin, Runs right into the traffic. So far, leading scorers right now for Equity Bank is Malu Abriu Grace, four points. Eight women BBC, nine points from Destiny Philoxy. Women BBC with the ball. They skip it back out to Philoxy. Philoxy trying to get some ankles in this moment. But realize she has to reset. Shot clock winding down to five. Philoxy going all the way and banking it home. 
and Destiny Biloxi doing an exceptional job here in the early stages. Jumper from Abreu Grace goes. Twenty-two to nine. Considering Equity Bank averages 71 points per game, they have met their match as they let go on another three. Mind you, Reach Women BBC averaged 91 points per game as that jumper is a no-go. And back the other way goes Tiffany Mitchell. Tiffany Mitchell, one of the most talked about players in the game and in this tournament. And she's making her presence known early in this game. Alyssa Tenyo with the chest pass. And gets the ball back. And can't knock it down from three-point land. And another feed and another jumper. This time Leah Cloudin gets it right from the left elbow. 29-11 to 11 is the score. And Equity Bank will talk it over. We played over three minutes here in the second quarter, and Reach Women BBC running away with this game. They are up by 18. We're right back. Equity Bank in trouble right now. They are down by 18 as Betty Kananu inbounds the ball. And they work it at the corner. Obunga going with a great cross-court pass, but it doesn't pay off for that team as the three doesn't go. Go out of bounds. 6.38 to go. Tournament play begins on Sunday, by the way. And group play will come to win on Friday, and all teams will take a rest day on Saturday. Kananu dishes it off, and the corner jumper doesn't hit. And Tiffany Mitchell on the other end, just rising to the occasion once again. Can't get anything, but she's able to absorb contact, which will send her to the line. A 20-point game for Reed Women BBC, undefeated in Group B play. Listen, Tenio off to the line. Tenio gets her first free throw. And she gets on the scoreboard. It has been quiet for Equity Bank since the five minute mark in the first. Looking to make a comeback here. They are down by 18. But Reed Women BBC has other plans. As that triple goes, Tiffany Mitchell from downtown. What can't she do? At the moment, she has 
stepped up, and she is at 10 points. Jesse Palak is the only one with more points than her, 11. In this runaway game, Obunga misses it. Putback is good. And so we thought. And another giveaway as Biloxi puts it in. Destiny Biloxi not putting the brakes on for anybody. He now has 13 points along with three assists with two rebounds. Benadu straight away. Ball bounces off. Last touch by Reed Women BBC. We're almost halfway in the second quarter. You have to imagine what the conversation is going to be at halftime if you're equity bank. Are you able to destroy the fast break with huge women at BBC? Are you able to put the chance on Biloxi and Tiffany Mitchell who are in double digit scoring figures right about now? And they almost lost control of the ball right there. We're able to swing the ball around. Nine seconds to shoot. They're going to have to fling it up. They do, and they hit. A desperation shot goes down. As it's now 36-16, back to a 20-point game. Clouded. Good drive. Now it's Biloxi. Back out. Clouded. And another... Full court pass results in the turnover. And Equity Bank needs to be careful on how they handle the ball. They are now at eight turnovers. And we're 430 away until the break. Clouded thought about the three, but gives it back to Pelosi. Now it's in the hands of Mitchell. Mitchell looking for a screen. She'll take it in herself. Goes to the drive. Kicks it right out. That's a three. That's off the mark. The whistle is blown right after the shot. The shot clock is just the 14. And we see the head coach of Regional BBC, Esperance Kukineza. Which I'm sure is not surprised at the outcome of this game so far. With your team up 20, I would say coach. Kukineza is pleased at the performance so the referees having a little conversation over the last play. Which equals three throws right now for Bengo is so Bengo is so at the line with the first free throw to drop. That's her fourth point. And she is two for three from the line, looking to go three of four. And she hits it. They go through Zomi. Goldie but Shirley getting on the board. Otenio, crack at a three. That does not draw Io. Leading scorer in this contest, Destiny Velocity with 13 points, 6 and 12 from the field. Right beside her is Tiffany Mitchell with 10 points, 4 of 9 from the field. As far as the rebounds are concerned, the Equity Bank out rebounding in the women BBC by 4, 23 to 19. Cloudin back out to Mitchell who just gives it away. And it's back to Cloudin. And on this block. Shovel pass in deep. That's a no-go for Rita Jingwa. Whatever it's in, you'll bundle with the ball. Averages five points and four rebounds per game. Had those four dimes there, too. And they're going to need a lot of dimes and a lot of points to get back into this game, including that bucket. That time it was Abreu Grace getting Equity Bank back in scoring ways. 
Back out, Mitchell. Yes. What else is new for Tiffany Mitchell? As she's able to connect. And she ties the leading score, her teammate Floxy, with 13. Otenio trying to flash through the lane. Almost lost control of the ball, found it again. Triple doesn't hit. Another chance for Equity Bank. Equity Bank moving around. Abreu Grace falls away. It's short. Loudon had to give it up. Get the right back from the wing. Bounces off. The other way they come. Forty-one eighteen is the score at the final game of day three of the Uma African women's basketball game. The Green Woman BBC making changes as Sandrine Bushikiwabo checks in. Bushikiwabo. Six points in the first two contests. Three ball goes off. And Biloxi not slowing down, going the entire length of the court for two. And Team Equity Bank having a lot of trouble on the transition. Turnaround jumper doesn't hit. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell going to the crossover dribble, wing left. Mitchell fakes around, fires it off the right hand, and can't get it to go in. And it's 25. Bombs away for the three. They are unable to hit. They will try again. They work it right underneath the basket. But a good decision, even though there were plenty of players open around the perimeter. But it's two more points as we approach the final minute until halftime. There's Mikamiza. No. There's Mikamiza checking in on the last dead ball. 42 seconds in counting. Otenio to inbound underneath. Straight away to Wanjiku. In deep, Abreu Grace. No go. And it's a convincing lead so far for Reed. They had a convincing victory in their first game against Overdose, 86-45. And they won by seven against Enter Club yesterday. They're looking to add on to it. Miko Yiza connect from downtown. Rosine Mikamiza, who averages two and a half points per game, gets more than that as she was left wide open for the shot. Contact side left. With seconds to go until halftime. As Afreyu Grace goes to the line. And hits. So Brayu Grace now with 11 points, looking for 12 at her first trip to the free throw line. Good as gold on both to make it 46 to 22 as we are at the final second. And again, going on the other end for a long bomb. And that's how the first half ends. A big time three makes it 49 to 22 at the break. The score for Equity Bank is Malo Abreu Grace, 12 points. She just picked up two more from the free throw line before Reed Women BBC stepped up and hit that long bomb. And Tiffany Mitchell with 13 points, but it's Destiny Biloxi who has 15 points and leading all scores.
We're at the break. I'm Aaron Sanders. We'll be back with continuing coverage of the FIBA African Women's Basketball League in just a moment.
Back at the Alexandria Sporting Club, where Reed Woman BBC is having a game. They are up 48 to 22 against Equity Bank. And Reed Woman BBC, they were down for the first five minutes of this contest, but they were able to find a way and get into the scoring surge, courtesy of a couple of players in Destiny Philoxy, who has 15 points, and Tiffany Mitchell, who has 13 points. Keep in mind, Tiffany Mitchell is the tournament's leading scorer as that two goes down and Equity Bank gets on the board to start the third quarter. Biloxi dribbling, driving right by in from the left and scoops it off the glass and in. So Destiny Biloxi continues on her scoring way, 17 points, eight of 14 from the field. Equity Bank had it going on in the early stages of this game, but they could not pick up the speed that Reach Women BBC was dishing out, especially in the transition game. We have a we have a turnover, and it's taken away by Cloudy. Two passes later, they work the ball down deep. Fadeaway jumper is no good for Kalonga. Back comes Equity Bank and Deborah Obunga. And down deep, that was not a good pass for Melissa Antonio as she gives the ball right away to the team in red. That jumper only hit the net, did not draw a iron. There's an air ball, and the ball goes the other way. 52 to 24, just underway in the second half. into the hands of Kananu who gets the ball back drives right inside dishes right back out that three is a no-go another chance and misses another J how about a third chance it's out to Kananu real estate for the three can't get it that's the fourth chance that Equity Bank has had on this possession alone now it's in the hands of Kananu again driving right into the baseline leaning jumper no good 
so many chances for Team Equity Bank to get a point in. But they were unable to get it. Plenty of offensive rebounds. As that last offensive rebound brings them up to 14, a total of 34 for Equity Bank, 10 more than reach women BBC. They have to hurry up. They are able to avoid the five-second violation. Driving right in is a Kenyi into Abreu Grace. And they finally get a bucket after being ice cold for the entire possession, which had five chances for them to get a bucket. They have to bounce back and bounce back fast. Here's Cloudon on the drive in from the right. Over to Mitchell. Mitchell with a crossover dribble, trying to go right back in from the right. Now she switches to the left side. Fires it up. Tough shot. No good. She got swallowed up by a team of white shirts who did a tremendous job underneath the 10. And they did a tremendous job on the fast break. Two more points makes it 52 to 28. You want fast pace? You want fast pace? You want a tempo? Well, you got it over the last few possessions for Equity Bank. They're trying to get right back into this one as the layup doesn't fall. Tiffany Mitchell defers it over. Another chance for Philoxy. That bounces off the side. Putback is no good for Kalanga, who's off to the line. We have approached the seven-minute mark here in the third quarter. And right now, Equity Bank outscoring Reach women 6-4 to four in this quarter alone. It was 18-9 in favor of Reach Women at the end of the first quarter. And after that, they outscored them 30 to 13 at halftime. And the first free throw connects as Kalonga is getting ready for the, her second free throw. Betty Kalonga knocks that down. She now has five points, three of them coming from the line to make it 54 to 28. Ball movement being limited down on the other end. However, Equity Bank will have another chance. They have a one and one record. They lost their opening match against Interclube by 25, and then they won against ASPAC a score of 87 to 69. And they could not get that three to go. So Equity Bank will be off tomorrow, and their final group match will be against Overdose on Friday. As for Reach Women BBC, they will wrap up their group play tomorrow against ASPAC. This is Cloudon. Cloudon out to Floxy. Floxy in the triple threat, drives right inside to the 10, got stopped on the right baseline. Goes on to the left, guesses it over right inside to Mbango is Somi. Who draws contact? And Abengo with Somi at the line prior to this game, shot 75%, and she misses the first free throw. Let's take a look at the games that have happened so far earlier today. As Team Overdose picks up their first AWBL win against Aspac, 77 to 52, and then it was KPA who took care of business, defeating Customs, 73 to 53. And in the previous game, CNSS defeats the University. Well, actually, the University of Douala defeats CNSS by three, 68 to 65. That layup is a no-go. Equity Bank with the ball again. And day four will begin tomorrow as we wind down group play. Which will come to an end on Friday. And tough break for Betty Kananu, who could not contain the ball before it went out of bounds. So that turnover leads into a timeout with 5.33 to go. Reach Women BBC up 55-28 to over Equity Bank.
And look at the team stats before the ball's put back into play. As we take a look at the rebounds. And it's a plus nine. A plus nine in favor of Equity Bank. Despite the 27 point deficit they have right now. Balls put back into play. As Mitchell goes for the pull up. Yes. So Tiffany Mitchell on watch as one of the top players in this tournament since the word go. Adding two more to her department. 17 points tied with Biloxi, her teammate. But Tiffany Mitchell, along with her 17 points, has six boards, five dimes, and only one foul. And she is 50% from the field. You know who's also 50% from the field? Destiny Philoxy. So their stats are lining up pretty well despite them being on the same team. It's been a while since we've seen something like that. On the other hand, for Equity Bank, Malu Briu Grace with 18 points, five rebounds, and an assist to her name. She is the only one out of that team in double-digit scoring figures. Pull up Cloudin. Can't hit it. Rebound Kalonga. Kalonga almost had it stripped away. Cloudin bails her out. Cloudin dribbling in from the right. Back into Kalonga. Gets the J. And Betty Kalonga gets it to go. We have a whistle following the basket. And we'll see what happened here. Incidentally, Faiza and Bango Isomi got the assist from that Kalunga jumper from about six feet. It is 59 to 28. Almost halfway into the third quarter, and now we're halfway. Passing the timeline was Omodi. Wanjiko with the feed. Shot clock running out. Ooh, that's a risky pass, but Pandaleo gets it up and can't get it down. Put back is a no-go. Loose ball on the floor, recovered by Equity Bank. Courtesy of Ibreu Grace. And she kicks it right back outside. Here's Omondi. Straight away, Ibreu Grace can't get the side jumper. Second chance goes for Wanjiku. They count that one as Wunjiku will try to complete the three-point play. Haven't, haven't said much for Marianne Wunjiku here today as she's able to capitalize on her first bucket of the game after missing her first two shots. To her credit, she has four rebounds and two fouls as she takes her first trip to the free throw line. 83.3% from the line in the last two games. And she connects to make it 59 to 30. So three quick points for Marianne Wenjiku. Destiny Filoxi, one of the game's leading scorers. Dribbling right into the far side, goes inside, steps up for the jumper off the mark. Rebound Betty Kananu. And they can't put the clamps down and try to finish it off properly. So Equity trying to reestablish the pace, trying to work on the fast break, but haven't been lucky as of late. Loxy to Cloudin. Cloudin backdoor feed as they get called for the travel. Amandi. Hands it off, two passes later, is in the hands of Kananu. Kananu guarded heavily by Clouded. Gets the screen and gets the three. And Kananu keeps on getting Equity Bank closer and closer as they hit 34. Biloxi in trouble, foul on the floor. And 
Biloxi was able to draw the foul with 3.18 to go. A couple of substitutions were made during the dead ball. Biloxi, straightaway pass. Quarter three hits. As Rosine Mikam Yiza checks in for Cloudin. And Mika Yiza right off the bench getting the trade out. And another turnover as it was out of the outstretched hands of Mary Lisa Mondi. Tough break for Betty Kananu, even though she's on the scoreboard. But she has had some turnovers, which has been costly today. Loxie, no looker into Kalanga. But she was able to get the foul on the shot. Betty Kalanga back at the line. Gets the first, her eighth point, and her fourth point from the line. Seven rebounds for her in almost 21 minutes of action. Biloxi and Mitchell tied with 17 points. A 28-point game. Dribble drive from Amandi. Kananu, no. With a Jengua on the rebound. Biloxi driving. Offensive foul. An offensive foul with almost two minutes to go here in the third. Reach Women BBC shooting 46% from the field. And Equity Bank limited to 24 and a half percent. Mondi with the shuffle pass. And they work it around the perimeter. Top side Odiambo. Will they try to go for the three? Good heads up play from Shantu Ramo Kiyobi. And at 41 left. With a screen out of the far side, Omondi is able to break free and get the inbounds pass. And it stays with Equity Bank. So they'll be able to reset. And they throw it right away to Kananu who chucked up a shot right at the whistle. And it pays off for her as she has two free throws coming up. Betty Kananu, who averages 10 points in this tournament, has six right now, and is off to her first trip to the free throw line today. Can't get that one. Four rebounds for her. But it's Christine Akinyi who leads in the rebounds with six rebounds, along with Abreu Grace with seven. An equity bank. You have to give them credit despite the deficit. They had a hard fought battle against ASPAC, for which they won 87 to 69, and they lost to a tough interclue team by 25 to open things up. We have a foul on the floor as we go to the other end. Equity Bank is over the limit in fouls, and Kalanga connects on the first free throw. So Cynthia Marrero was the one with the foul as Kalanga goes two for two to the line. They make it 66 to 34. Down far away into Panaleo. That's a three, and it goes. So Panaleo and Equity Bank, 
they do a good job creating enough space to get a long bomb to go. Tiffany Mitchell, oh, she got some ankles. Goes right inside to Kalonga. Tough shot, and she banks it in. Betty Kalonga, courtesy of Tiffany Mitchell on the assist. And the team of White wasting no time getting those extra passes down. Back in the hands of the Reeves women BBC. We have the lead in the final minute of the third quarter. Here's Mika Yiza. Passes it. Mitchell has a chance at it. And she connects. Tiffany Mitchell letting everybody in the Alexandria Sporting Club know that this is her game. She's leading scoring right now. 20 points for Tiffany Mitchell. And that tough leaner goes for Pantaleo. Tiffany Mitchell, who has had stellar games since the start of the AWBL, just continuing to pile up on the points as she dosy does with five to shoot. Mitchell misses it from the key. And Mika Yuzo almost had a hand on it as we're at the end of the third quarter. Reach Women BBC running away with it as they lead over Equity Bank 71 to 39. And this coverage of the 2023 FIBA African Women's Basketball League will continue in a moment. Before we get underway here in the fourth quarter, the leading scorer is Tiffany Mitchell, who currently has 20 points. Let's look back at the last two games that she has played, in which she has got the FIBA audience in shock and awe. In her opening game against Interclude, she just took care of business. And the game against Interclude was her best game so far, 34 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. In the game against Overdose, which was the opener, my mistake, she ended up with 23 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. Currently, she has 20 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. So she is on par of getting about around 23 points if she's able to continue the trend. And she is one of the most talked about players in this tournament today. As we are underway here in the fourth quarter, Reach Women BBC unable to connect on the three. That's their first shot here in the quarter. And Equity Bank not wasting any time as Obunga moves the ball around. They retreat right back out in the corner. And that shot doesn't hit. But Betty Kananu is there to pick it up and put it in. This is Faustine Uzerwa. End of the game for the first time. Hosting Rosera into Mikoyiza. Tough break. Right on down to Obunga. Obunga looking for space. Kananu in deep to Ibreu Grace. 
who gets the jumper right from the free throw line. Able to get that one to go. And she has 18 points, leading scorer for Equity Bank. And Betty Kalonga's called for the truck. And both clubs make some changes. We have 8.47 left in regulation. Each woman BBC looking to go 3 0 in Group B play. Meanwhile, Equity Bank looking for one last surge here in the quarter. Melissa Attenio saves it. It's the baseball pass down, and the corner three goes off the mark as there's a whistle halfway in. An offensive foul as Reed's women get the ball back. Reed's women BBC shooting 45% from the field. And on average, they shoot 47. Mitchell on the saucer pass straight away, cutting in from the left. And Mitchell gets it back, and Mitchell misses the jam. Ball is tapped around. Second chance as Ramu Kiyobi is unable to hit. Single drive, Pantaleo. Into Abreu Grace. And he is met by the defense, unable to get it in. He Clowden, yes. He Clowden connecting. She has 11 points today. Straight away pass Kanani. This is the tray. Cloudon picks it up. Up the floor is Mitchell. Mitchell with a little juking, jiving. And she got hit and she is. And she is in a little bit of grief right now. She got hit right in the middle of the play as she was going right into traffic. So possession returns to Equity Bank. As we see some changes happening, Ashantu Ramu Kiyobi checks out. Seven nineteen to go in the fourth quarter. It is a thirty-point Reach Woman BBC lead. Kanadu back out. Goes out for three. Can't get it. They're able to get the screen. And Rizera getting some minutes. As they chuck a shot. That was Cloudon who chucked the shot. On the foul. And Nia Cloudin set to go back to the line. She has 11 points and about to have her first trip at the line today. A 66.7% free throw shooter is Cloudin. And that's the first free throw. Cloudon came into this game eight in assists per game with six. Splits a pair of free throws. A rebound by Abreu Grace. And they push the tempo up the floor. And the turnovers continue. It's 6.33 to go. 
ايوه مين بقى اللي عمال يدوس على الزرار دلوقتي؟ Tiffany Mitchell has 20 and she has yet to score here in the fourth quarter. Jumper by Ekrahosi doesn't go. She tries it again, same result. So Angelelli Arakosi unable to connect on two chances. That basket doesn't go for Marrero. And they get a free chance. Putback's no good for Abreu Grace. Tough shooting woes continue for Equity Bank as Tiffany Mitchell going for the drive. She went for the Euro step as she observed the double team. Tiffany Mitchell will have another chance to get some more points on the board. Despite her 20 points, this will be her first trip at the line. And Mitchell shoots at 95% from the line. And this, her first AWBL appearance. She previously played in four Euro Cups, and in this installment of the Euro Cup, this year, she averaged nearly 16 points and eight rebounds per game. In this tournament alone, coming into today, she averaged 28 and a half, leading all scores. And she can't add another point to that resume of hers here in the inaugural AWBL. But she's one of the most talked about players as she splits the pair of free throws. 21 for Mitchell. As she goes one for two at the line. We have stoppage of play with 5.30 in county. And one of the officials saying the score was wrong, so they will adjust it. Now we'll have 5.37 left. Officials hoping to rectify the situation. We have a full 24 seconds on the shot clock as it's being wounded down. It looks like it's going to be 17 seconds on the shot clock. Nope, they're continuing to run it down. It's 16 with 5.37 to go. So day four competition is tomorrow. With KPA taking on the University of Douala to start things off. Then it's Overdose Upstation versus Interclube. ASPAC against the Reach Women BBC and Customs against Sporting to wrap up this app to wrap up the afternoon's worth of actions. I will be on the call with the game between Sporting and Customs. It's supposed to be a good one. Sporting. One of the top teams in scoring, and as well indicated by their 100 plus point performance yesterday. Drive by layup is good as the points continue to pile up for Reach Women BBC. Obunga to Pantaleo. Fake drive shot, no good. Second chance, fall away, no good for Abreu Grace. Arakozi. Finding an open player in Jane Desabi. Desabi picked up her dribble. Traveling called. We're halfway into the fourth quarter. Subs coming in for Equity Bank. This time, Mary Lisa Modi checks back in. And she will throw the ball in. Tiffany Mitchell, an outstanding game for her. 21 points, 
as she's leading Ridge Women BBC along with her teammate Destiny Biloxi. And they were pretty much on par as far as points are concerned up until the final few minutes of the third quarter. Back outside, Panaleo still can't put down the three. And Mitchell will bring it up to the far side as she passes the timeline. Mitchell driving, can't score. Back tap by Aracozzi. Chance for Biloxi. Aracozzi can't get it from the key. Seventy-seven to forty-three. Reed Women BBC on course to get to a three and O record. Equity Bank will be off tomorrow as they will prepare for their matchup against Overdose Upstation on Friday. And Pantaleo finally gets her triple. Aracozzi in trouble, and she picked up her dribble. Under four minutes now. And keep in mind, Equity Bank had a four-point lead near the five-minute mark in the first quarter, and they saw it disappear when Reach Women BBC stepped it up and worked out on their transition game. And players named Destiny Biloxi and Tiffany Mitchell led the way. Three ball doesn't hit for Akinyi. And that has to be one of the keys for all the teams the rest of the way here in this AWBL. If you want to win against Reed Women BBC, you have to put the clamps down on Tiffany Mitchell and Philoxy right away. Both players are in top 10 in terms of points per game in this tournament. 3.17 to go. And while we talk about Reach Women BBC, let's shed a little light on Equity Bank. Their leading scorer is Malu Abreu Grace with 20 points, 9 of 22 from the field. And Abreu Grace averages 17 and a half points per game. So it's going to go up a little bit today. She got a double-double two with her 10 boards. She averaged 13 heading into this contest tonight. That's fourth best in the AWBL. as Equity Bank looks on. As they're about three minutes away from dropping this game and going to a one and two record in Group B play. A lot of adjustments have to be made if they want to defeat Overdose Up Station on Friday. 24 hours, 24 hours of rest will most likely do the trick. They played the first two days of the AWBL. Same with Reach Women BBC. The Reach Women BBC's off day will be on the Friday, the last day of group competition, as that three doesn't fall. Back on the other end, it's Jane Desabi who gets on the scoreboard. In three minutes of play, she's able to get her first two points. As Rage Women leads 81 to 46. Ball almost taken away. Tough shot off the mark for Kenyi. Loose ball on the floor, recovered by Equity Bank. Jumper from the corner, yes. From the right elbow. Loose ball opportunities, and you capitalize on it right away. There's no point of stopping. Cloudin can't hit. Monty straight away. Nice triple threat situation right there. As a Kenyi cannot convert. And they get another crack at it. Leaner, no. Back to Tiffany Mitchell. Mitchell, oh, behind the back inside of Philoxy who just went out of bounds. What a pretty pass from Tiffany Mitchell. And it goes without saying she could do it all. With 21 points and 11 rebounds, she is two assists away from the triple-double. I have a feeling that's what she's gunning for, the first triple-double in the inaugural FIBA AWBL tournament. And she's got a minute and 36 left trying to make history as Philoxy is set to go to the line once again. She 
She remains perfect from the free throw line. She now has 20. She's looking to tie Mitchell up at 21. Six assists and five rebounds, along with four steals. That is a stat line noteworthy. She goes perfect from the free throw line. Perfect for the night. Four of four with 21 points. Pantaleo works the ball. Down far away. They're able to pick up the loose ball. Two seconds to shoot on the shot clock. They have to put it up and it's too much time as there's a collision right after the buzzer. And that was one of the hard plays today. But you have to give credit to Reach Women BBC even though they're up by 35, they're not going to go easy. They're going to go hard on each and every play as if they were down by 10 with a minute to go. That is not the case as there is a player down. And we will step aside. And a good sign that Reach Women BBC's player is able to get right back up. As it took a while, but that was a hard take to try to block the ball as the shot clock went out. Incidentally, that was Betty Kalonga, who has given it her all in tonight's game. 13 points, 8 rebounds. And Cloden looking to dribble out the clock as much as she can as we approach the final minute here in this contest. Mika Yiza with the ball, straight away to Cloudon. Cloudon with time winding down on the 24. Cloudon as Odeyambo got her hand caught in the cookie jar with under a minute to go. Well, if you're Equity Bank, the good news is that this team was able to out-rebound Reach Women BBC 53-46 to 46 in this contest. And Equity Bank came into this game averaging 40 rebounds per game. That's fourth in this tournament. Reverse layup off the mark. And a second chance opportunity rattles in and out. How about a third chance? Not there, but two free throws are coming up. First free throw connects for barely a cough, Malongo. And so does the second. 84-51, half a minute left. So even though Tiffany Mitchell will not get her triple-double, a double-double will pretty much suffice. A terrific game from her. What more can you expect? She's going to dribble out the shot clock. Good sportsmanship. Oh, she's going to go for the pass, but they're going to dribble it out too. I think they were looking for the final shot as she misses it. Rebound by Akinyi, and that will do it. As they let it sail out of bounds, and it's over. Reach Women BBC convincingly defeats Equity Bank 84 to 50. All credit where credit is due to two players in mind Destiny Faloxi, 21 points, 6 assists, 5 rebounds. 
but the game ball once again goes to Tiffany Mitchell. 21 points, 11 rebounds, and nine assists. One short from the first ever triple-double in FIBA African Women's Basketball League history. For Equity Bank, Madhu Obreu Grace led the way with the double-double, 20 points and 10 boards while shooting 24% from the field. They will now have an off day tomorrow before they play against Overdose Upstation tomorrow. For Reach Women BBC, they will wrap up their group play as they go up against ASPAC tomorrow. Before we say goodnight, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for day four of competition, which will begin tomorrow at noon local time. KPA will play against the University of Douala, overdose upstation against Interclube afterwards, then ASPAC taking on Reach Women BBC, and rounding it out will be Customs versus Sporting, the home team, to wind things out. And I will be on the call for that. It's been a pleasure to have you join us for day three of the 2023 FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League Tournament. We hope that you're able to join us again tomorrow. Now on behalf of the entire broadcasting crew and our commentators here who've been with us since day one and the beginning of today, this will be Aaron Sanders. Once again, thank you for watching and have a good night, have a good day, and thank you for watching wherever you may be. So long, everybody.